So for today, we're going to be looking at Eternal Warrior. It got asked for in, I don't remember which video, I'll have it in the screen right now, but it's, first of all, that comment makes me question it because definitely nobody is using this exotic. I ended up using this exotic for about an hour to get game footage so that way you guys can see it in the background. And let me tell you guys, it is dog shit, uh, fashion wise and gameplay wise. This is the worst exotic in the game by far the worst exotic in the game and i will stand by that because it's just terrible uh thankfully we're not reviewing this gameplay wise because if i was i'd be destroying it even more than i already am we're gonna be looking at how it fashions how it shaders or it doesn't uh we'll be looking at the ornament as well because it does have an ornament and it is and it's probably even worse than the default look i don't know how but they managed to do it and overall I know I'm talking a lot of shit about this exotic, but the first one that I'm going to be showing you guys is probably one of the coolest ones, but obviously we have to look at the exotic first. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help me because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you are one of those people that came in to see the fashion and you like what you saw, a subscription would very be very much appreciated because uh, you know how YouTube is, uh, more subscriptions, more retention time, stuff like that. It just really helps. So, you know, uh, do me a favor, dog. Uh, other than that, let's just get into it. So this is Eternal Warrior. Uh, this is how the male version looks. The male and female are different. I'm going to be showing you the male version just because uh, I don't want to post. I, fuck it. We'll post both of them at the, at the same time. Here's the male and here's the female. Uh, for the shaders, I will just be showing you the male version. So... I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but here are the male and the female. As you guys can see, it's really cool that they did actually change it so that the females actually do get a female face. I really do appreciate that. Uh, as for how it shaders, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. As you guys can see right here, uh, it's it's terrible. I just... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, just, I laugh because it's just so funny to me how the most important pieces of this helmet does not shader uh the wings on the side don't shader the face plate doesn't shader which would have been really cool and the top doesn't shader as well what kills me even more is that like it would have looked really cool if we were able to shader this because can you imagine uh for example echoed anger with this shader and the cracks still there i think that would have been amazing but obviously we don't live in that world we live in a world where they reuse the helm of Saint 14 helmet and uh or vice versa i don't know which one came first i think they're both vanilla disney one uh exotics but yeah it's it's unfortunate because this exotic could have been really cool if they allowed us to change the color let's look at the first example set so here's my first example set i am really proud of this one because it came out really cool obviously i'm going for a gladiator look uh for the helmet we're obviously using the exotic duh for the arms, we're using Steeplechase Gauntlets. This is from Season of the Hunt. It's definitely one of my favorite arms for the Titans, if, especially if you want to go for a Cabal theme because you obviously have a Cabal arm or helmet on the arm. For the chest piece, we're using the Solstice Plate Resplendent chest piece just because it looks really good. It really invokes that warrior because of the cloth plus the rope on the side of the arm. For the boots, we're using this Phoenix Strife Type O. This one was a no-brainer because of the extra color that these boots give off because if you guys don't know the phoenix strife type o and the devastation complex are using the same model but the devastation complex boots do actually don't have the color differentiation that this one has so that's why i ended up using the essentially the crucible boots because these phoenix strife type o are the original crucible boots for the titans and then for the mark, I know a lot of, I'm, I might get some shit for this, but I'm using the Tusk Allegiance mark again. I say I might get shit for this because I used it on my uh, Lorelei Splendor Titan. The reason I'm using these this is because, again, I'm going for a gladiator look. And I know I'm copying out because the Lorelei Splendor, I did go for a gladiator look as well. But this one makes even more sense because... I'm using a helmet that's very like gladiator thing for me personally. I think so because I know a lot of uh, correct me in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure it's either Greek or Roman inspired armor that has like human faces. So that obviously that's where my head went immediately. And I obviously wanted to do that. So 
let me know what you guys think. This is definitely one of my favorite sets right now that I've made for the Titan. I'm not even kidding. Like the Lorelei Splendor, all of it was super dope and I still love that set. But I think as as a theme, this one hits the Gladiator way more for me uh, because the the mark I think is really good with this set. I love the the fact that it just feels Roman or or Greek. I don't know. It's Roman. I'm pretty sure it's Roman. Uh, the helmet as well. I just feel like everything just fits to that Gladiator feel. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely one of my favorite set, sets that I've made from this whole series, probably because it just looks so good. Uh, a few things to note though, the shader situation is going to be really rough. Uh, you're going to want to go for Bray Innovation. If you don't have that, there are a few other shaders you can go with, but unfortunately it's not going to be a one-to-one. -one. Truth be told, the Bray Innovation is actually not a one-to-one, -one, but it's so close that most people are just going to be like, wow, that's super, that's so good. But for people like who are finicky and will notice it, it to them, they're going to be like, it's close, but it's not exactly it. Because the helmet, the blue is a little bit more desaturated uh, for the, the unshaderable pieces. It's a little bit more desaturated and the helmet, like the pieces that are our shade, you'll, you'll notice it if you, if you go up close to it. But again, from from afar, people are not going to be like, oh, it's not the same blue. It looks damn near close. For the ornament, we're going to be looking at the Nephrite Paragon. It is a terrible ornament. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, it's it's just terrible. All around terrible. I, I can't find anything good to say about it. Because if it was like white, if, if it wasn't green, if it was literally any other color, shit, like... I don't, uh, yellow, no, I wouldn't take yellow, but like if it was like yellow, or no, I'm, no, if it was like white, black, red, blue, anything other than this caca green, I would have been like, I can, you can work with it, blue, white, black, red, uh, shit, any, it, dude, if it was even like a better tint of green, if it wasn't jade green, like actual, it's, it kills my soul, uh, as for her shaders, again, it's shade. I don't, I don't know how Bungie did it, but they made it shader worse than Eternal Warrior base look of it. I'm just, I don't understand. Like, was that a challenge for you guys? It, it's terrible. Don't use this ornament, or I hate you. But if you do want to use this ornament, I understand. I guess I don't even know why you would use this exotic. This exotic is terrible. But if you want to use it for some ungodly reason, if, if Bungie makes this meta next season. Well, I have to make a video for a specific person, but let me show you what I'm working with. Uh, hopefully I've shown you how it, how it shaders. It, sh it doesn't shader well. Let me just say that outright. It does not shader well. The only pieces that shader well are the like eye marks on both eyes and then the top of the helmet. That's it. There's nothing else. That green is going to be there forever. So make sure you find a good green for that. We'll talk about the example set first, and then I'll show you some shaders that you can combine with it because the... Shaders that I'm using for the example set, some people might not like it. So here's the example set. Obviously, we're using Nephrite Paragon. I'm using Tide Smoke for this because I want to get a darker color for the eyes and the helmet. For the arms, we're using the Technosaurus Claws because I really like how the pointy uh, pauldrons complement the Empyrean Cartographer plate because, as you guys can see, the plate also has a pointy uh, spot to it. For the boots, we're using the Jensen Night Greaves because I really wanted to have as little green as I could on this set because I don't want green to be the main focus. I just kind of want the helmet to main, be the main focus because obviously it should be the main focus. And then last but not least, we're using the Legatus Mark because I don't like to pair Jensen Knight the the Greaves specifically with a small mark. I want the mark to be really big. So that way the crotch doesn't show up because I feel like the crotch is really bland. So now that we're talking, we're done talking about the actual ar armor sets. Uh, here is my Titan, obviously. I will sh be showing you guys which shaders go well with this because some people might not like bat bath salt toxic, which is fair. It's not the same green. Uh, for me, I don't really care because I don't want green to be like the main focus of the whole armor. Because once you start seeing the other shaders, you'll understand why... I didn't use those shaders because it's a little bit overbearing in my opinion. So first and foremost, we're going to be looking at 
I think it's just three shaders that really go with it. Uh, Vibrant Medusa is going to be your best choice um, for this because the light, like lime green here is almost a one-to-one -one for the helmet. The other one will have to be... Well, here's base salt toxic if you're interested. I actually do like it. Uh, but yeah, that's way too dark. Again, this is this is where it comes to, to play where you have to be really careful with what shaders you use because some of them is going to look really weird with it. Uh, some people have tried doing Malachite Gold. It looks cool, but Malachite Gold's green is not a one-to-one. -one. As you guys can see, this is a little bit uh, brighter than this one. And it's a little bit more saturated, I guess you would say. Uh, the other one that's really good for this is Metropolitan Acoustics. Just be aware that this shader has very big uh, Buzz Lightyear vibes because blue, green, and white. Obviously, that's Buzz Lightyear. And then the last one is going to be Watermelon. I don't like this shader at all. But you can make it work. Just know that if you use it, I'm going to hate you. Uh, I'm just kidding. Either way, it's only really three shaders that I found that actually look really good with it. You could try to do something like an off color, like a white and green, but I've yet to find a really good white and green aside from this one. But again, the reason I don't like this one is because of the blue. Uh, if you could find armor pieces that don't have the blue, then I think this would look really cool if I'm being honest. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Every other green, uh, I just don't like it to be fair. Like this one's not good. This one's not good. Anything that's a little too dark is just not going to look good in my opinion. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite set? If you guys say the green one, I'm going to be sad because I personally really, really like the base look of the example set for the base look of uh, Eternal Warrior. Jesus Christ. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have a few things planned for the next couple of days. I, sh I should say weeks because I ended up getting a lot of comments, more comments than I thought I was going to get, to be quite honest, because... Eternal Warrior got asked for, uh, Young Ahank Ahankara Spine got asked for, Second Chance, Vesper Radius, and Verity's Brow got asked for. Not only that, that doesn't even equate to, like, some of the other videos that I'm planning to do, specifically, like, some thematic videos that I've been thinking about. Like, I've been thinking about doing a SIVA video for every class because I never did it for every class. I only did it for my Hunter. Uh, I still have to re review the, the Dungeon Armor plus the Eververse Armor when all the pieces come to Eververse. And Solstice still hasn't came out, so I still have to like review the armor for that, make the videos, the tutorials, and all this shit. So I have a lot of content, and it's unfortunate because I really want to work on my second channel because I, I will have a second channel, which is just non-Destiny 2 stuff. Basically, like, my Let's Play video, my Let's Play channel, essentially. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, if you guys want to see a specific armor set, uh, again, if you guys want to see a specific exotic or armor piece or theme, just let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely get started on that video because, again, I'm doing a lot of fashion. A lot of fashion. The season is winding down as well. I'm basically just repeating uh, the, the post that I posted today, but essentially the season is winding down, so I will be doing a lot more fashion stuff. But be safe, and I'll see you guys later.